Welcome to a poker vlog with a bit of difference. Poker mm -hmm. with kids. I'm going to go to poker all by myself. And me. Yes. Daddy. Pick up me. Pick up me. Daddy. 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 This time out and about uh, twilight at Broadwater Parklands in Southport. And this time we're going to have a look at a uh, quick look at a couple of pub poker tournaments that I played not too long ago. Uh, the first one was an APL event, played at Helensvale, Helensvale Tavern. Uh, $35 buy-in event, uh, $1,000 guarantee. Ended up with 43 players, nothing, um, nothing particularly remarkable about the, uh, the event one way or the other. Uh, but it does get to show the frustration of tournament poker. Uh, 43 players, top five were being paid. I made the final table. Um, got in there with a averageish sort of stack. Not not one of the big stacks. Not one of the short stacks. Um, hung around for a bit, but the uh, the structure made the uh, made the final table in effect really a bit silly. Um, Although it started off deep stack uh, early on in the game, I started off with 20 minute levels only for the first three levels until the break. After the break, the blind levels changed to 15 minutes, which uh, went for about an hour and a half. A little bit later, that moved to 12 minutes, and by the time we got to the final table, they're actually down to 10 minute blind. So, uh, although we started off, um, as I said, early on in the tournament to deep stack, uh, by the time we actually got down to the final six players, um, I think the big stack at the table um, had maybe five big wines, if that. Um, and just to yeah, give you an idea of what happened, um, I've actually got all the way down to uh, 75k at 5100 uh, blinds. Um, picked up Ace Jack, obviously it's a, that's a, a, an insta shove. Um, the small blind completes the big blind, and the big blind checks the option. So there's actually a side pot, but uh, there's uh, 250, uh, sorry, 225 in the main pot. Uh, Ace check holds up, so I end up going from the short stack with less than a big blind to now having two and a bit big blinds, but I'm actually a, mid a medium stack at the table. Um, I then won uh, another hand or two, just picking up the blinds, uh, that got me up to 425. And then the uh, the following hand came up. Um, interestingly, by this stage, I'm actually the second biggest chip stack with 425 at, uh, pretty sure the blinds had actually gone up to 100, 200. They might have still been 5100. Actually, no, they were still 5100. Uh, so, albeit, so I'm almost the biggest stack of the table with four and a bit big blinds and the uh, the big stack of the table was actually to my direct left and she had uh 450 so she had four and a half big blinds that's the big stack so um really does take away the skill and it becomes very much a luck game towards the end which to my mind seems like the opposite of what you want to what you want to do especially when you're um talking about a thousand dollar guarantee game you're looking at um, i think it was around 400 for first pl first place so um for that type of money you'd like to think that where you're actually playing for the money uh, you do have a bit of time to play rather than being effectively incentivized to to chop or do some sort of a deal because the structure's that bad uh, anyway what happened so it's folded to me in the small blind and i looked out at king queen offsuit um obviously in hindsight i think i i think i might just limp um, just complete the big blind limp there. Um, I decided to shove, um, pretty much expecting the, the, the big blind to fold almost every, almost anything, given the uh, the situation in the tournament. And um, before she made any kind of decision, she counted up a stack. She's like, "Oh, even if I lose, I've got one chip left." And I think that was the that was essentially her deciding deciding factor. Uh, if I think I had it covered, and she would have been knocked out, I think she might have actually folded. But uh, 
She ended up making a call, had pocket tens, uh, so we're in a flip and I lost the flip. And I was out on the bubble. Um, so a bit of frustration with that one to uh, to go so deep and uh, obviously bubble will be the actual actual bubble miss out on the cash. Uh, the following day, I played a tournament with WPT League at Pivot Tavern. Uh, this one was a $13 buy-in on the $400 guarantee. Uh, they got 34 runners, so a little bit under what they needed to cover the guarantee uh, in terms of just the, the buy-in amount. Uh, and once again, I made the final table. This time, um, it was just 15 metal levels throughout, so uh, structure-wise at least it was consistent. However, the, uh, the big problem that happened was that basically nobody went out on the final table. Almost all the, uh, all the short sacks that went all in uh, ended up surviving, doubling, tripling up or whatever. Um, the other thing that kind of uh, really did help my cause was that just before the final table, I managed to uh, go from a, a reasonable size stack to a, a shortish stack. Basically when a, a guy was, I think it was up to 10, 20 blinds, he had 40. 40k, I was in on about 100k, and he was in the big blind with I think four or five offsuit, and uh, I had I think I had like ace queen, or ace king, or something like that. Uh, of course, I shoved. He's like, well, I'm I'm already halfway in, so he's called. He's made a pair of um, a pair of fours or five or something, and uh, so all of a sudden I've gone from uh, 100k and potentially around 150k down to 60k just as the final tables reached so uh, obviously that's uh, forced me to change my strategy a bit managed to chip up a little bit uh, got got some chips early on uh, but then the blinds again have been increased and once again I haven't been quite the bubble boy but again I missed out on the catch so uh, two events two final tables and nothing to show for it uh, cash wise So yeah, the frustration of tournament poker, and particularly pub uh, tournament poker where you've got fast structures, um, not really very deep stacks by the time you get to the, uh, the money or close to the money. And uh, yeah, two final tables, a, uh, a sixth and a seventh, unfortunately uh, no good for the cash in uh, either case. That's going to wrap up vlog number 32. This has been a quick one. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again next time. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, more poking coming to you in the not too distant future. Thanks.